Hello, major events in sexual reproduction. There are many events occurring during sexual reproduction. You know that sexual reproduction involves two parents and those two parents will produce two different gametes which after fertilization there is formation of zygote and zygote undergoes division to form many cells and finally there is formation of entire living organism. So let's discuss about major events in sexual reproduction which uh, is one of the uh, subtopic in chapter one that is reproduction in organism there are three main different uh, major events occurring in sexual sexual reproduction first pre-fertilization events pre refers to first or early before fertilization fertilization is fusion of male and female gametes so before the fertilization there are many events which occurs and those events or activities are known as pre-fertilization events now after fertilization after the fusion of male and female gametes there are other events which occurs and those are known as post fertilization events post refers to later now what are the pre-fertilization events before fertilization, gametes has to form and gametes has have to be transferred or gametes, two different gametes, male and female gametes, have to come together, right? So first is gametogenesis. Gameto refers to gametes, genesis here refers to production, generation. So formation of male gametes and female gametes, both male gametes and female gametes are haploid having half the number of chromosomes, right? So, gametogenesis is formation of gametes. Now, formed two different gametes of male and female gametes have to be transferred or met together. And transferring of male gametes, usually male gametes are motile and these are usually transferred to the female gametes, but they are some living organism in which both the gametes are motile. So, both male gametes and female gametes have to come together, have to come together or have to physically contact each other and combine together to undergo fertilization. And fertilization may occur inside the living organism called as internal fertilization or it may occur outside the living organism's body and called as external fertilization which occurs in most of the aquatic animals in case of us we uh, follow internal fertilization male gametes get inseminated inseminated to fertilize with the female gametes inside the mother's reproductive tract or reproductive system now what are the post fertilization events after the formation after the fertilization we have formation of zygote and after the formation of zygote, zygote will undergo mitotic division and form embryo. And embryo formation is not just having mitotic division, it undergoes mitotic division as well as differentiation. Cells get specialized to form different or, uh, tissues. Tissues will uh, be forming different organs. So embryogenesis is one of the uh, events event which occurs during post fertilization so formation of zygote and embryogenesis are two major activities which occurs during post fertilization events now we were saying that there is gametogenesis occurring so gametes may be different right there are gametes called homogametes or isogametes. Iso and homo refers to same. Heterogametes or anisogametes. Hetero and iso refers to different. So gametes which are having same structure, same morphological features are known as homogametes. For example, isogametes of cladophora. Cladophora is an alga. If you observe the structure of uh, gametes of cladophora, 
here both the male and female gametes are similar in structure so homogametes are those gametes or gametes which are produced and both the male and gametes male and female gametes are morphologically similar in appearance or similar in structure if the male and female gametes are morph morphologically different or dissimilar then we call it heterogametes or anisogametes for example uh, we have humans have heterogametes so most of the sexually reproducing organisms produce heterogametes heterogametes may be uh, so uh, example also given here heterogametes of fucus and alga and human beings uh, human beings produce sperm in case of uh, fucus also they do produce sperm or male gamete is sometimes called as anthozoates. Female gametes are usually called as ovum or egg. So heterogametes may be male gamete and female gamete. Technically we call anthozoates or sperm for male gametes, egg or ovum for female gametes. Now how do the gametes formed meet together? I've been discussing saying that may generally male gametes are motile, motile and female gametes are stationary they are not motile they uh, can't move male gametes do have tail like structure which helps in movement it is important uh, to achieve successful transfer of male gametes towards female gametes or both the gametes should come together in order to occur fertilization to achieve that, usually male gametes are having tail-like structure which helps in movement and female gametes are stationary and thereby there is occurrence of fertilization coming together of male and female gametes. Now in case of fungi, some fungi and algae, both the male and female gametes are motile and they require air and water or other mediums in order to achieve gamete transfer and later on for achieving fertilization so the picture clearly shows that there is movement shown by uh, algae in order to achieve fertilization similarly in case of baryophyte pteridophyte especially baryophytes require water for fertilization to occur. Gametes have to move from uh, male gametes have to move towards female gametes for which water is required. Baryophytes being amphibians of plant kingdom they have to acquire they, they survive in water and they require water for fertilization. So in order to achieve fertilization successful fertilization needs lots of male gametes to be produced so that there is high chance of fertilization to occur whenever male gametes move from a place to towards the female gametes they are harsh conditions so in order to combat in order to survive at least one male gametes they are product, there is production of lots of male gametes in comparison to female gametes. Now we were saying that fertilization may be internal fertilization or external fertilization. Now let's discuss with this table. Sites of fertilization in case of external fertilization is external medium. So zygote is usually formed in external medium say like water mostly so uh, water in case of external fertilization in case of internal fertilization zygote is formed inside the body of the organism now where do we observe the fertilization uh, in which living organism so in case of external fertilization these are mostly exhibited shown by uh, aquatic organisms like algae fishes amphibians bony fishes 
frogs, etc. Internal, internal fertilization occurs in most of the higher living organisms. Uh, mostly they are terrestrial, reptiles, birds, mammals, plants like uh, pteridophyte, gypnosperm, angiosperm, all these follow internal fertilization. Some baryophytes also follow internal fertilization. Uh, they, they, they do have internal fertilization. Number of offspring produced. In case of external fertilization, large number of offsprings are produced. Internal fertilization, last number of offsprings are produced. Now, main disadvantage of external fertilization is that offsprings are vulnerable to predators. They are having threat of predators because external fertilization is occurring outside the living organism. So in the aquatic body, they are diverse living organism exist. So eggs which are produced by fishes may be eaten by other predators or zygote formed may be eaten by some other living organism. So there is high danger or high threat or the X or zygotes of aquatic animals or animals which are undergoing external fertilization are having th high threat of predators. With this we have discussed about the differences between external fertilization and internal fertilization. Let's try to make a con concept a little uh, clear by discussing the features of the organisms exhibiting external fertilization and internal fertilization. In case of uh, organisms which are exhibiting or showing external fertilization, they show high coordination between sexes. Once the male, uh, female organism is producing X, thousands of X, male organism will surely produce male gametes so that fertilization occurs. Synchrony here refers to coordination. Whenever there is uh, external fertilization occurring, there is production of large number of gametes so that at least one or two or say like some uh, hundreds can fertilize to form a zygote and later on could develop into living organism. In case of internal fertilization being the X and male gametes are fused together inside the living organism, there is less number of uh, eggs are produced. Usually gametes of the may, uh, female is stationary, not motile. Male gamete is motile. So, eggs are produced less, female gametes are produced in more number. So, in case of seeded plants, mostly flowering plants, their gametes are non motile but these are being transported uh, in the form of pollen grains by biotic agent and abiotic agent so that later on it can uh, form pollen tube and male gametes could fuse with the female gametes to form seeds. So these are some features of external fertilization and internal fertilization. So uh, we were also saying that after the fertilization occurs then there is formation of zygote and zygote is deployed cell from which all the deployed living organisms are developed. So we be began our life from zygote. So formation of zygote is universal in all the sexually reprodu reproducing organism. So they have different factors which are affecting the formation of zygote. Say for example, uh, life cycle of the organism may be affecting the formation of zygote. We not all the living organism follow same pattern of life cycle. So difference in life cycle may affect the formation of zygote. 
environmental factors are also essential factor which affect the formation of zygote. Zygote may not be forming if there is harsh condition in the environment. Now, what about the zygote of fungi and algae? In case of fungi and algae, they zygote are usually covered by thick walls which are resistant to drying or desiccation and these are resistant to damage by external environment. So zygote of fungi and algae undergo dormancy. If you observe these pictures, you are able to see hard, thick covering of zygote of algae and fungi. Uh, so zygote, fungi, zygote of fungi and algae are covered by thick wall, which are resistant to desiccation and damage, and they undergo state of rest or state of dormancy before the uh, uh, before uh, there is occurrence of uh, favorable condition, zygote of haplontic life cycle. In case of haploid organisms, they do form zygote. After the zygote is formed, the uh, zygote undergoes meiosis. After undergoing reductional division, there is formation of haploid spores and haploid spores will germinate and will grow to form haploid individuals. Though zygote is formed, zygote undergoes meiosis to form haploid organisms. This is in case of uh, Chlamydomonas. So there is formation of zygospore covered by thick walls. So Chlamydomonas is an algae is an alga, sorry, after the uh, release of the male gam uh, gametes and female gametes, they themselves produce, uh, will germinate and form many male and female gametes. After fusion or fertilization of male and female gametes, again undergoes to form zygote. And zygote undergoes uh, to form reductional division and formation of haploid individuals and haploid individuals will fuse together to form diploid. In that way number of uh, chlamydomonas uh, are produced. So zygote of haplontic life cycle undergoes meiosis to form haploid individuals. Now embryogenesis. Embryo refers to the structure which is developed from zygote after undergoing mitosis or equational division and differentiation. Genesis here refers to generation, so production of embryo, right? So embryogenesis is process of development of embryo from zygote. Whenever there is embryogenesis occurs, there is division of cell or equational division or mitosis occurs and cell division, uh, cell differentiation occurs. Cell differentiation here refers to specialization of cell. Eye embryos, which look similar to the baby, are formed from cells, B began from zygote and formed from cells, right? So cell division increases the number of cells in the developing embryo and cell differentiation helps the cells which are uh, increased to undergo changes, to undergo specialization and form different tissues and tissues after undergoing specialization form organs and organs will later develop into organ system and then we have living organism and they are living organisms so embryogenesis is development of embryo from zygote so with this try to answer these question discuss the three major events of sexual reproduction distinguish between internal fertilization and external fertilization briefly explain gametogenesis or gametes, sorry, uh, this should be gamete. Y G A M E T E gamete. So briefly, uh, briefly explain gametogenesis and gamete transfer. Third, we uh, fourth we have how does haploid organisms like Chimeromonas begin the the haploid cells from diploid zygote begin their life it refers to 
Fifth, mention the factors which are affecting formation of zygote. So for this, uh, stay safe and take care of your health. We'll see you in the next video.